So, uh, we're at the opening of our lovely welfare hall here at Beamish. It's a replica of the hall that still exists in Cowden, which was opened in 1957. Um, and so we're dead excited because it's the first building in our 1950s town to open. Uh, and we've had such a wonderful reception from the people who've come today from Cowden. Uh, it's been a real party atmosphere, so it's been a great way to open the building and to start the 1950s town. We had a big parade, a carnival parade. It was inspired by a, an archive photograph that we found that had a float with God bless the old, God bless the new. So we got some of our oldest stuff out of the collections uh, and had a big float. And we had a big parade with the Cubs and the Scouts, the WI were in it, the committee from Cowden were here, uh, the youth club were here as well. Lots of people participate in in the parade and then the official opening and the drawing of the curtains on the sign. It feels absolutely amazing to see this hall open. I think um, there are so many people at Beamish that come together to and external contractors as well that all work to make these things happen. It's such a massive team effort. Uh, so many people have worked on this building uh, inside the museum and out and I think it's a, it's a real achievement and moment for everyone who's been involved. We always knew that we wanted a, a large indoor space as part of remaking Beamish uh, somewhere particularly for a lot of the work that we do with groups uh, to be able to come and use the hall um, and this hall was just absolutely perfect for our needs. Um, it opened in 1957 so it's a late 1950s building. Architecturally it's really interesting there's absolutely beautiful glue lamb arches inside. Uh, it's very reminiscent for a lot of people of halls that they will have been in uh, and crucially for us as well it continues uh, the mining story through the museum um, so this uh, hall you know, uh, people talk about the contribution that the miners made to making this hall open. Uh, so it enables us to do that as well. And it's absolutely just a, a beautiful space, really. I feel uh, incredibly lucky that we've got this at the museum and uh, can't wait to use it in lots of different ways. <laughs> it brings a building to life, doesn't it? When you work with people and they can tell you their stories and experiences. Uh, a community centre is, is just that, isn't it? It's all about people. It's all, all about community and the community in Leeholm and Cowden have been absolutely fantastic to work with. They've helped us make this come alive and uh, I look forward to visitors at the museum continuing to do so. It's been about four years that I've worked on this project since they announced it through to the opening today and I think there's so many moments, there's so many people that we've met, there's been quite a few emotional moments like taking people into the hall for the first time, speaking to people who had their wedding receptions here, people whose family worked down Leasingthorn Pit, um, the people who look after the Leasingthorn Banner, I think you know there's, there's so so many people that we've met who have helped us with this project, I think it would be really hard to pick out a particular moment but what I would say is that it's been really emotional today to see the hall open and to see all the people that came to take part in that parade um, and and that was that was quite emotional really particularly when the youth club uh, read out the poem all about the history of the local area um, you know they <laughs> got a hard act to follow <laughs> I feel amazing, it's all come to the end now but it's absolutely been a fantastic day with a marvellous send off, the procession was amazing, so many people here, great, the support was fantastic. It's certainly stored a lot of emotion, a lot of conversations going on, a lot of people coming out with their old stories again and that is lovely to hear. I still think it's bizarre having two Leesenthal welfare hall halls but I just think that is so, so special that we've been replicated here. Uh, so we're trying to create that same sort of community spirit and that same buzz that it would have had in the 50s. So there'll be a different daily activity each day uh, and that'll change, change seasonally. Uh, but there's all sorts from coming and taking part in amateur dramatics through to craft clubs, uh, the NHS clinics obviously in here. Uh, we've got youth club games. So there's so much every day you should come in and find something different. So uh, the hall is the first building in our new 1950s town. So we'll have ha lots of people's houses that you can see. Uh, we've got a terrace which has got a new fish and chip shop and a hairdresser so you can come and get your hair done uh, and also a house which is based on the artist Norman Cornish's house as well um, and then different uh, houses some might remember the nominate your house competition uh, and the house from Red House Estate in Sunderland that won so obviously that's part of it as well the police house there's a recreation ground as well a cinema obviously so there'll be loads of stuff for people to do when they come to the 50s town. The town isn't just the only part of the project uh, we're doing some really exciting work over in the Georgian area to expand that time period 
side. So uh, you've, if you've been recently, you will have seen there's a development site there, which is going to be a Georgian coaching in, and even more exciting, you'll be able to stay in it overnight as well. So we're working on that at the minute just to see what level of uh, creature comforts people might like to have. Uh, so that should be a fun thing. And also expanding the industrial Georgian tale that we tell. So we're looking at a candle house and a pottery as well. So it would be a really kind of uh, expansion of the visit that you can have in the Georgian area of the museum. And then over um, near the farm, we're building Spainsfield Farm, which has been but, uh, brought back to the museum brick by brick from Weirdale and rebuilt here on site so that will open towards the end of the project as well. Uh, I should also mention in the 1950s the Aged Miners Homes uh, which will be a purpose-built building uh, for our work with people with, who have dementia. So at the minute that work is based up at Home Farm but the Aged Miners Homes which will be set in the 50s town will give us a real opportunity to expand that work uh, and make it a much better facility for those people coming to visit. We've had a lot of help from the National Lottery Heritage Fund which has been great we couldn't have done it without them but lots of other supporters as well so the Banks Community Foundation have, have supported this and also people like Formica who've supplied our lovely units in the kitchen and also the tabletops of the lovely tables in the hall as well so it's really been a, a big effort to kind of bring this hall all together and everybody has contributed something which has helped it to, to bring it to life.